We got a load of rims. I would watch a girl coming down the lane. <sighs> on another, I would watch that. When Michael Porter Jr. made comments such as these on the pivot. My issue with the pivot is they allow these guys to say things that they know is wrong. And they just they just are like, OK, keep keep going, keep going. Or they'll feed them more information for them to then double down on the stupid that they had just said. LA Sparks star Lexi Brown didn't hold back. I know these females want to get paid more. Um, and they're very talented, but so is so is a famous ping pong player. They're just as talented as, as a... Like the best ping pong player is just as talented as the best basketball player. That doesn't mean they're going to get paid the same because it's... Because right. they play ping pong. So, I mean, there's like a lot to unpack in his like statements identifying us as females instead of women the whole time, um, that we can't get treated the same. And then he he then says treatment to payment, which are two completely different things. We can still be treated with respect and they can respect our craft without us making 20 to $30 million a year. Like those things are not like those, th both of those things can happen. We cannot get paid $30 million and we can be respected and treated well for being professional basketball players on mpjs it would be more entertaining if the rims were under 10 feet comment lowering the rims comment you already know how i feel about that it's stupid it doesn't benefit me personally at all because i'm you can't dunk not them. gonna dunk yeah. i can't dunk on a 10 foot rim i'm definitely not gonna dunk on a nine foot rim it's gonna f up my shooting it's gonna f up everybody's shooting and i just feel like the way he plays basketball like he shoots a lot of threes i just don't you don't he doesn't dunk he wants us to dunk, you dunk. Like, what are we talking about? It's just, it's a tired conversation. And I'm, I'm very annoyed with men continuing to create these spaces to discuss these things when they don't watch our games, they don't know us, they don't ask us our opinions about anything ever. Brown responded as such. It's what the people want to watch, you know what I mean? So as much as I understand females wanting the same treatment as as men, basketball players, it's, it's, it's a different sport people they're not packing out the arenas and like if you don't have to watch us play that's fine but like for you to just sit there and just constantly on our craft our product and everything without really being tuned in like it's just not it's not right at this point but again you don't have to watch anything but y'all always want to talk about us so might as well watch us and when seeing brown go after his show ryan clark would jump in with a tweet that read for all of y'all with the you don't support women's sports or the pivot won't get behind black women in sports where were y'all then we're gonna keep working and i'm gonna keep being me i know what it is and the real ones do to the pivot this message was tweeted above a video where he defended his fellow LSU Tiger, excuse me, Angel Reese, in April of 2023. Awful announcing would add, the depth of that criticism extends to a much larger conversation about the treatment of black women in sports. They have routinely had it harder. And for a league like the W, which is predominantly black, things grow in difficulty. While that depth extends to that conversation, what's true is this. Michael Porter Jr. was simply flat out wrong for what he said. Any criticism directed towards him and his patronizing spiels is not only deserved, but earned. Critics of The Pivot have pointed to the podcast platforming MPJ to make those comments in the first place. Amid a world where women's college basketball enjoys a surge in popularity and ratings, and women's sports in general continue to boom, like the W, the comments are awful and don't reflect the current state of affairs. When Gills Arena co-host Rashad McCants, many know him from not only his time in the NBA, but more so when he was a star at the University of North Carolina. He's on this show as well as Josiah Anderson. It is a phenomenal product. So when he says, what is the problem and what is the solution? Here was Lexi Brown's answer, pay attention. Everyone says the problem is the product. That's not the problem. There's great basketball being played throughout the entire W. Then we're, always, we're either getting compared to NBA, which everyone complains about how NBA is being played right now. So we either get compared to that, or we get compared to the three most marketed women's college basketball games of the entire women's college basketball season. So we're stuck in the middle, just getting, getting it from both sides. If we were 
out there playing bad basketball, like I would understand, but like that's that's not the case. So marketing, promotion, our equity and our uh, media deals, all that. It's like a very, it's a very layered issue. McCants would then follow up with a question of, well, why aren't we seeing more 50 burgers, 60 burgers, 70 burgers, like what Luca did previously? Once again, Brown would respond. John, because our team, our league is so small and so talented, like, those outbursts, like, those outbursts are hard because you have a lot of good players, yep. players yep. on your team. Yep. So it's like, yeah, you'll you'll get a, maybe a fifty ball here, a forty ball there, but it's hard. And we actually be ding up. Like right. I tell y'all that all the time. Like maybe we'll play less defense to like up the entertainment value, which I completely understand. But like the people watching, gotta understand when that happens. Like we're getting yelled at by our coaches and all these things. So it's like, it's a cycle. And I think we're getting there. You know, we don't take as many threes as the NBA does yet. I think we're heading in that direction. I think this draft class and next year's draft class, I think they're going to make a big effort to keep these players in the league, to keep the eyes on the league. But like that has nothing to do with us. So once again, I leave it all up to you. How can they improve what is already a fantastic league? Is it marketing? Is it trying to get the biggest names out in front? Is it having coaches not be as strict and allow those who could potentially put up 40, 50, go do it and go do it more consistently? Would that grow the game? What I'm asking for is this. No misogyny. Uh, no racism and conductive, excuse me, constructive conversations to be had in the comments. In addition, in, <clears throat> well, in addition, if we have missed anything or if I have missed anything, or if there's a story that you wanna submit to me, get at me on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, DMs are open, send them along, appreciate you.